Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Soraya Says. I'm Soraya, welcome. Um, so Christmas is over, New Year's is over. I know you can see the Christmas tree in the corner. Yes, it's still up because I do not have the energy to take it down. And it's pretty, so I think it can just stay there for a while. No shame. Um, yeah, this week everything is going back to normal. People are going back to work. Sad. Um, and so I'm not really doing a whole lot of stuff. I'm gonna take it easy. Um, Thomas and I went disc golfing together. Mm, by that I mean he went disc golfing and I was company. Um, I can't disc golf to save my life, I can't throw a disc to save my life. Um, I feel shame when I throw discs. There are, I've literally seen six year olds outperform me <laughs> on these courses. Um, I go as company and because I think it's nice to go for a walk in the woods, so that's it. It's very nice. Uh, it's good exercise, actually. I went disc golfing and I'm going to go food shopping now. I'll take you along for, for me for that. Stay tuned also for a chat. Um, we're going to be talking about affirmations uh, and why I think it's BS. Stay tuned. Hey guys, today we're in nature. We're disc golfing, you see. So, we're gonna watch Thomas throw some discs in some baskets and have a nice little walk. disc golfing in a death trap and I almost just died. I almost slipped and fell and died. And I was saying to Thomas that if we if we died then the crime show which would discuss our death would be called uh, dying to golf because you know we'd be dead. We died. And I think that's a pretty good title, actually. <sighs> Maybe I watch too many crime shows. We're going food shopping. I need to show you what I use to carry my food in. And it's this thing. Uh, I love it. It's huge. It makes carrying your shopping so much easier. My boyfriend's ashamed to be seen with me when I use it. He thinks that only old ladies use them, which is true. But I'm in my 30s now, so. Getting old. Not ashamed. Hashtag no shame. I'm very much about convenience now. What makes your life easier? This makes my life a lot easier. really drink Red Bull anymore because it reminds me of, because it reminds me of times I've almost died having vodka Red Bulls and I can't do the flashbacks. Yeah. Just have drinks like that. 
drinks they used to drink when you were like at uni because they were cheap at the union for like two quid and would get you drunk very fast. This is my drink, vodka Red Bull. Okay, I think we're done. Look at all this stuff. Welcome back. This portion of the video is a chat and it's a chat about affirmations and why I don't like them. Now, in case you don't know what affirmations are, um, the word affirmation is a sort of new age word. The whole idea about affirmations is that uh, it's about positive thinking and the idea that if you practice positive thinking, you can achieve anything. Now, on the surface, this sounds okay, right? Sounds pretty good. We all want to succeed, and I think the whole idea that we can do anything we want if we just put our minds to it is a very attractive one. My main problem with this whole thing is that, first of all, it just sounds a bit silly, you know? Just think positively, and then positive things will happen. Like, it sounds, well, it sounds like new age, doesn't it? No, but I mean, it just sounds like, it just sounds a bit like, oh, magic. Do you know what I mean? My second uh, grievance with this whole affirmation, positive thinking industry, is that it places essentially all of the responsibility onto the individual and individual agency. And I think it completely ignores outside forces that we experience. Because we don't live in a bubble, um, everything is not down to us and our actions and our behavior and our thoughts and beliefs because we live in a society and that society is incredibly structured and it's very complicated and works in ways that we don't have control over. And that's my, my main issue um, with this whole positive thinking will help you achieve success and everything. And you can do anything you want. This actually isn't true. And it sounds really awful when I say it and I sound really negative, but it's not true. Um, everyone cannot become whatever they want in life or achieve whatever they want in life and get wherever they want to in life. Um, we live in society. Uh, we have structuralized racism, we have uh, poverty, we have sexism, we have misogyny, we have abuse. We have so many things in society uh, that are beyond our control. And we are born into certain families. They'll have a certain amount of money. We're born into certain families where there may or may not be a history of trauma in that family, which might lead to abuse that you might experience. Or you might have um, a hereditary disease that also might affect your health negatively. Now, all these things that I've just mentioned, if they've happened to you or you've experienced it, that isn't because you were thinking negatively or you weren't positive enough. Um, that stuff, that happens to people and it's beyond your control and that's not your fault. It leads to a kind of toxic positivity um, where, you know, if you're not experiencing good things or positive things in your life, then it's because you just don't want it hard enough. And that's not fair because you can want something a lot and you can work really hard for it. But your efforts don't lead you down the same path and with the same results as another person. And that's because of all the things that I have just mentioned previously that are beyond your control. And the thing is that people like Rachel Hollis, they make us think that we're all in the same race. And that's not true. We're not all in the same race. It might look like we're all in the same race because we're all running, right? But actually, we haven't all started off from the same point. 
we haven't all started off at the same starting line at the beginning of the race. Some of us had a head start, right? Some of us had richer parents, trust funds, contacts in high places, easier access to jobs that they wanted, all of that. They were already a mile ahead. However, I did say that there are some things that you can take from it. So I wanna use one of the cards that I got in my soul work box as an example. Um, and it was in Swedish, so I'm gonna translate. Okay, so the card said, your thoughts have led you to where you are in life and created the life that you have. And you can use the same thought power or power of thought to change your life. Now, I like this and I dislike it at the same time. I dislike it because, again, it presupposes that uh, there is complete individual agency in life and everything that's happened to you is down to you and you alone and none of these other outside forces that we've discussed. Um, however, I think it, it's also good in the sense that it is telling you that it is possible to change your life to think of ways that you can change it. Because yes, there are all these outside forces um, impacting us and our lives, but that doesn't mean that we have zero individual agency. We do still have some agency, um, some of us more than others. I think that thinking positive thoughts, thinking nice things about yourself and, that, and your worth Reminding yourself that you're worthy, reminding yourself that you're a good person, reminding yourself that you deserve good things. I think that is really valuable. I think we all need to be reminded of that. Um, and like I said before, you know, if we feel good, then we can do good. I just don't think that um, you need to go all in and completely buy into the whole concept because it isn't because it is a faulty uh, concept, I believe at its core. But we can take things from it, we can uh, use it, um, and it can help us, I think. That's the end of the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I've had a lot of fun talking about this. Um, like and subscribe if you like and want to, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.